Hey everybody, it's uh, August 27th and it's roughly about 1 o'clock in the afternoon. Oh. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> I know you haven't seen us in a while and it's just been really, really hard. So I'm going to skip all of the reasons why I haven't vlogged and start vlogging instead. Um, we wanted to catch up <laughs> by uh, showing our break video for Atlas, which you have yet to meet. Um, who just turned a month old <laughs> two days ago, yep. so we're not behind at all. Eight or nine in the morning, I, I woke up and and she was sitting there miserable on the couch, of course. <laughs> and at that point in time, we decided to call the midwives, yeah? Yeah. The events went, she, she was laboring, she hopped in the showers, uh, played around in the pool a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> played around in the pool with my rubber dogs and my <laughs> diving mask i was just having a blast <laughs> uh, bubbles everywhere um labored in bed for a bit and then we filled up the pool and then she moved to the pool and pretty much labored in the pool for the rest of the time i was in and out of the shower because the hot hot water made me feel a lot better um, and so waiting for the pool to fill up <laughs> Hi. Waiting for the pool to fill up. I just kept hopping in and out of shower and that was amazing feeling. This is a trainer pen, by the way. This yeah. is not a real epi pen. <laughs> you see him playing with one. This is his practice one. He'll tell you all about it. <laughs> yeah? Tell him how to use it? <laughs> he is 20 months old, by the way, now. 20 yeah. months old. And this is one month old today. So you're two days ago. Yeah. See? No timeline anymore. Oh. I'm a mom. So as as she was giving birth to him, you know, his head pops out and I was actually there to catch the baby. And it's kind of funny looking. You'll see in the video. Oh, no, you won't see in the video. <laughs> 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 because it's just kind of funny. It's like, you know, you have your normal head as a human and then you have no head sticking out the other end. So it's just kind of, kind of funny. I was sitting there. Uh oh, oh. You want this? It's like horror movie stuff. <laughs> yeah. So I, I caught the baby, and it, it was it was an awesome experience. Uh, the umbilical cord feels extremely weird. <laughs> <laughs> the umbilical cord was actually uh, was super long, and it had to actually wrap around twice around his head. Um, I don't know if that's caught in the video or not, but uh, they unraveled it, and he was fine. And yeah, I caught him, and and we she laid back in the pool, and we tossed. Atlas on, on the... They tossed him on me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They, they, um, they had to put him back underneath me and then forward and put him back in my chest and I was able to hold him right away and spend at least a half hour just with him. Yeah. We did delayed cord clamping, of course, and so he just got to rest on me and nurse on me and just relax in the pool for a good half hour, which was really, really nice. Yep, and I cut the cord again. Yeah, because I cut Vincent's cord, now I cut his cord, and so. So after a very long day for our midwife, she drove all the way back into Anchorage to check on Atlas's breathing in person, and she decided at that time that we did need to go into the ER with him um, to get him checked in. Since it's 1 a.m., you can't just go to an appointment. Um, so we end up going into the ER, and he gets an x-ray, and they uh, see fluid in his lungs. <sighs> which was very disheartening <laughs> and uh, long story short he had a pneumonia and um, ended up a four day stay in the NICU now since I didn't birth in the hospital I was not offered a room there and was not able to they don't allow you to sleep in the NICU and since I am breastfeeding yeah. exclusively I ended up pretty much staying awake for the four days and taking tiny cat naps here and there when people weren't watching and staying in the NICU with him because I refused to have him bottle fed for the first couple days of his life and by the time they decided that we could come home they said I had the option to either get a room there with him or come home and um, take him in for um, IV antibiotics twice a day um, and I just chose at the time to come home because at that point I just wanted to be home so bad with my family and miss Vincent so much and yeah. it was just a really long stressful period so we had this gentle home 
uh, VBAC like we wanted so bad and then ended up in the hospital anyways anyway. for four days. So yeah. that was kind of disappointing, but I'm really happy that we got our VBAC. Um, I'm really happy that it went healthy. There was no tearing. There was no anything like that, even though he was quite large. Yeah. <laughs> um, I don't know if we said... Um, uh. After laboring, my water broke, and it was maybe 30-some minutes after that in two very big pushes that he came out. So with that said, it is a birthing video. I am in a pool, so I do have a sports bra on. There is no, nothing visible on top. Ouch. What you doing? Um, you do see a bit of my back end, and that's about it. There's not a whole lot of nudity or grossness that anyone might consider gross even though <laughs> earth is beautiful right <laughs> so um yeah so we'll put the video from here out enjoy all right hey guys it's um january 20 or not january july 23rd it's about almost 10 o'clock in the morning um roseanne's been having active labor contractions around four o'clock 4 30 ish in the morning um and they're just starting to get pretty serious um about 25, 20 minutes ago, they said she was about seven centimeters. I'm sure she's a lot more. There's my son getting changed by grandmammy. Um, so yeah, that's what's going on right now. Here she is. Here's the chimp of the day. So um, we're, she's ready about to hop in the birthing pool, and hopefully after we turn on the camera next, you'll see uh, the little atlas. thinks that's the judgment call of when the baby's coming exactly. <laughs> nope. <laughs> totally not. Vincent. Yeah, let me get the kitty pole this year. <laughs> like, I thought you said we could afford one. <laughs> Contraction, you forgot what was wrong, <laughs> and then one comes, and you're like, Nope, dementors in my vagina. Dementors.
Take a dip with me? Yeah. My new soup? Yeah. Do you want to use Vincent's little bucket thing? No. Hmm? Okay. <sighs> oh. Oh. Does she start pushing when she wants to, or...? Usually there will become a point where her body is like, there's no way she can't push. Oh, I see. It's like overwhelming, it's overwhelming, like, the body will just be like, and we're pushing now. I see. <laughs> okay, I was just curious. Because yeah. like, you see those stereotypical sitcoms or whatever, and like, oh, right. you gotta push now, you gotta push now, blah, right. blah, blah. Well, at the hospital, you know, they're checking you, like, every hour or two, and then as soon as it's complete, as soon as you're complete, they're like, okay, let's push a baby out. But, I mean, that can, if you do it that way, then mm -hmm. it can take up to two hours even more oh, of really? pushing. So that's, like, super exhausting. It's better to wait until the baby has, like, moved down enough that you can't resist the urge. I see. And then it's a lot less, usually, and a lot less pushing. I see. Mm. Hmm? Oh. Was oh. Sorry. That's your heart. Ladybugs in his coat. Ladybugs. That's one of the best things I've heard. Like in the middle of like the strong contraction. <laughs> Speaking about bugs, I 
the soft top one. And there's a, a B on the soft top. Oh. Yeah. It's crazy. <laughs> yeah, like, like a... Is that the door? No, no, no. no. no? Oh, oh, that's okay. the other one. Do you want to turn off this light? Do you want, Do you want the light off? Light off? Light off? We got this. Vincent. It's okay to just Congrats. let that baby, baby sit there for a second, okay? We're gonna hang out. One more contraction, Mama. One more. Okay. You've got that, right? He's got a blurry head, honey. I can feel that. <laughs> Grandma, little V. Yeah. This baby's about to be born. Really? really? We're Truly. one push away. Oh, God. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Let's go see, Vincent. And this is all perfect. Sometimes you get a nice rest. Baby's turning. Everything's perfect. Yes, Vincent. So the next big surge, you're going to have your baby. Baby's okay. coming. And we're going to pass him up to you through your legs, okay? Uh -huh. So this baby's one year. So you're just going to sit one. back. Got that? There you go, Mama. There you go. Yep, you can do it. Gosh, does he have dimples? He does. He sure does. Oh, you do, Mama. Hi, honey. Oh, you do have a big Bellardi head. Oh, my goodness. I knew you had hair. Is there still a pulse in cord? Yep. All right. He's fine. He needs, he needs to decide he's a baby and not a fetus anymore. Heart rate? Heart rate? Okay. There we go. <laughs> Look what you did!
I don't see any blood in the water. I don't think she tore her. That's what that cool. looks like. Yeah, this little one. What are you doing with your son? Nothing. Nothing? Okay. Nothing. <laughs> cool. Fair enough. Like, hey, bro. <laughs> yeah, you didn't want to see that, did you? <laughs> wow. And then I'll flip it over and show you the side that was on that. Oh, was side. man. So this is the bag of water. Oh, okay, okay, it, okay. Maybe. Oh, good gosh. So this is what the baby saw. It's a much prettier side. Oh, okay. well, yeah. I would agree. Nice. Good gosh, that looks... Tremendous. <laughs> not what I anticipated by any stretch of the imagination. Pretty cool. That's a good size one. I know, it's That's huge. a pretty one, too. Yeah. Wow. Okay, it's a nice fractal pattern on the veins. Hey, be gentle. I'm interested in this arm hair business. <laughs> Just like Vincent's. Just like yours, right here. See? Good job. Nice and gentle. Oh. 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 <laughs> bless you. God bless you. Good job. Look, he's such a good brother. Do you see this arm hair? Grandpa's? <laughs> yeah, that's his hair. Um, it's been a while since we uh, made a video. Um, today is Monday the 27th. So July 27th, a Monday. And it's roughly about 1.48 in the afternoon. Um, you'll notice that Rosanna's not here along with the baby, or I should say Alice, because we have two of them now. Um, and there's a reason for that. We haven't vlogged in a few days because uh, on Friday night, Saturday morning-ish, um, Alice needed to go to the ER because he had some uh, pre-pneumonia or pneumonia and was collecting fluid in his lungs. And so we called the midwives and they came over and took a look and suggested that, yeah, we do go to the ER. So they went to the ER with her and Rosanna and I stayed behind and put Vincent down. Did some scans and they found fluid in his lungs. Um, and they put him in the NICU and where he's been ever since then. Um, they said that depending on how he looks, he may come, with, come home with us tomorrow morning, Tuesday morning. So we're really excited and praying about that. Uh, that's the status as of right now. Just wanted to make a little quick video because I'm sure Rosanna wants me to. Well, we didn't get a vlog very much at the hospital for hospital reasons, but we just got home and we are officially a family of four. <laughs> so we're going to get this little guy inside. <laughs> All right, you guys, well, thanks for sticking around long enough after the birthing video. This is uh, Atlas Fontaine Schneider. This is our little guy. I hope you enjoyed our video, and thank you for following us and waiting patiently for months and months for our video, and I hope to be able to stay more updated now that both boys are here, and they've actually been sleeping really great. They've been going to bed actually. at, like, 9-ish. 
All right, well, uh, thanks for sticking around, and uh, we'll try to continue pushing them videos out. <laughs> Have a good day.